I'm here to show you how to properly set up your Novatool Aero 325 splice press to splice narrow belts often used in belt-driven live rollers and transfer toad applications. There are many belt types, flat, V-guided, notch V-guided, each with different thicknesses and widths. Before splicing your belt, you'll need to choose the correct belt template for the narrow belt that you would like to splice. To set up your splice, you'll want to begin by removing the top beam, the silicone cloth, and the clamp bars. You'll then want to choose the appropriate template for the particular belt you'd like to splice. So you just lay that template into the bottom of the press and then open up your clamp bars at the end of your press. This splice will be spliced end to end. Now we can load our belt ends into the template. So when we load these into the template, we'll wanna make sure that the fingers are approximately in the center of the press. So I'll go ahead and do my first belt in. And then bring in my second belt in. Once again, making sure that those fingers are nice and tightly meshed up against each other. Okay, once in place, we can clamp those belt ends in with the end clamps. And then what I'll want to do is make sure that my pressure plate is aligned perfectly on the top of the belt. So I'll just slip it in the cutout grooves on the clamp bars and confirm that it lines up. Knowing that it does line up, I can then put my silicone cloth on. My pressure plate. and my clamp bars. To prevent the template from moving around. Once everything is secured down, I can put my top beam back onto the press. Now we can power up the press. So first we'll connect the umbilical cord from the top beam to the bottom and lock it in place. And then we'll lock the power cord to the bottom beam. And then plug the power cord into our main power source. We can now power up the press. The display has detected a single phase 110 volt 15 amp power cord. I know that my power cord is plugged into this power source, so I'm going to select correct. And I do that by scrolling to correct and depressing the knob. Now I can enter my recipe. Right now we're set for 1.5 bars. I want to change that to two. So I simply depress my selector knob, scroll up to two, hit it again, and then go to preheat. We're not going to use a preheat here, so we're going to move to the top temperature on the top beam. And that's set at 180. We're going to go to 175 on the top and the bottom. So once I've installed that, I go to the bottom, 175 degrees. And then I move on to the splice dwell. This is the amount of time that we want to take to cook the belt. 
We're at three minutes, 30 seconds. We're going to change that to four minutes. We're at the cool down temperature now. This is the temperature that we want the belt to be at once the splice process completes. I'm gonna set this to 70 degrees Celsius. Once we com completed that, I can go ahead and start the splice. Now that splice is completed, we can release the pressure. But first, note the splice cycle time. Before we inspect the splice, we're gonna power down the press and disconnect our cables. To power down the press, we'll turn it off at the switch, unplug the power cord from the main power source, and then disconnect from the bottom beam, and then disconnect the umbilical from the bottom beam. Now we can inspect the splice. We'll begin by removing the top beam. Now that's a good splice. Because the splice results were good, we can save this recipe to the press for future use. So I simply scroll down to store recipe. We're gonna call this splice 77 millimeters. So I simply depress the selector knob and scroll till I get to the number I want. Depress it again, scroll once again. And then I turn it the other way for my letters. And then once completed, I scroll over to done, depress my knob, cancel or confirm, we're gonna confirm, and I'm done. Follow these steps for a quality splice when using the Novatool Aero 325 splice press.